Hey guys, and welcome to Tiny Right Talk with Casey Ray. <laughs> All right, y'all. In today's video, we are going to be talking about something that God literally placed on my heart this morning as I was getting ready. I think it's so relevant to the time, especially with seeing like a whole bunch of people giving their life to Jesus and everything and just um, going through the Christian journey. And I mean, it's beautiful. It's so beautiful. And I feel like um, this is something that we all need to know as Christians. Okay, guys. So today's title is Don't Wait for Conviction. We're going to be coming from James chapter four, starting with verse 17. And the scripture says, therefore, to him who knows to do good and does not do it, to him, it is sin. Now, y'all, I was literally getting ready for school this morning and like the Holy Spirit decided to pour into me. And what I realized was a lot of Christians, we tried to wait for conviction to let something go. Let me explain. So for example, at my house, right? We have chores to do and everything. So the main thing that my mom always wants to have done is the kitchen being clean. It's always like this big fuss about us not cleaning the kitchen. It will always please my mom more and she will be so much more happy and not all like yelling at us and everything if we just cleaned the kitchen before she even had to tell us to do it. So when she would come home and she see the kitchen is, the kitchen is already done, she's like, oh, the girls cleaned the kitchen? Okay like okay they do what they gotta do you know versus her coming home and being like girls get i can't scream y'all lost my voice but y'all know like girls get down there go clean the kitchen blah 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 so y'all it's the same thing when it comes to god why do we have to wait for the holy spirit to convict us to do good or to not sin it literally says in the word therefore to him who knows to do good so you know the right thing to do but you don't do it like that that's a sin y'all know that right it literally says it to him who knows to do good and does not do it to him it is sin so it's like don't wait for the holy spirit to convict you don't wait for the holy spirit to tell you hey nope don't do that if you know you're not supposed to be doing it don't do it <laughs> I feel like it's like as simple as that. And trust me, y'all, I literally go through it too. When it came to me to stop cussing, stop drinking, stop smoking, I would literally wait till I felt personally convicted to stop doing it instead of just not doing it because I knew that it was wrong and I knew that sin was so disrespectful to God. Now going me to Luke chapter 12, starting with verse 47. It says, and that servant who knew his master's will and did not prepare himself or do according to his will shall be beaten with many stripes. Verse 48, but he who did not know yet committed things deserving of stripes shall be beaten with few. This just goes to back up the scripture that we just read. It's much worse to be in a position to know the right thing and choose to do the wrong thing versus not knowing that you're doing the wrong thing whenever you're going through the transition of changing for god the things that you know is not right that you know you've been doing cut it out don't wait for god have to personally tell you because i don't know about y'all but me i would rather just look god i don't want no dealings with none of that stuff that's disrespectful to you i'm gonna do it beforehand the reason why we're not waiting to feel convicted. It's not because we're scared that God is going to discipline us. We're scared that he's going to do this or do that. It's, it's out of love. It's because we respect him that much. We love him and we respect him enough to say, look, God, this stuff that I used to do, I'm not going to do it anymore because I know that it's disrespectful to you. I know that you don't like it. And since you don't like it, I don't like it. Do you guys understand? So I feel like I would rather put myself in a position to where I just go ahead and do the right thing and not have to wait for the Holy Spirit to convict me and say, hey, don't do that. Like it's so impactful and it's so important for us to know the, the depth of what sin is because sin is so disrespectful to God. So yeah, I just wanna encourage everybody to not wait for conviction. Don't wait to feel convicted to stop doing something that you know you're not supposed to be doing. That pretty much wraps it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys, but remember God loves you more and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.